Hey guys, welcome back. In this video, I'm going to show you how to start animating. In the last video, we created this scene. Uh, we drew out all the elements, the stairs, the ball, um, the seesaw, the cup, everything. And now in this video, we need to uh, start animating. So the very first thing that I'd like to do is animate this ball. Uh, I've selected it here in the in the uh, layers. I can right click and go insert or create a motion tween and it turns it into a yellow. Uh, of course, when you select it, it turns green. So uh, at frame 45, 40, it's going to go all the way and hit that seesaw. So it's going to be 10, 20, 30, 40. And so when I move it, you can see that A, it created a keyframe, and B, you can see that path, that motion path. I'm gonna go all the way to frame 10 and uh, make sure that I get a keyframe and I can manipulate by moving the selection tool right up to that line. And you can see that little curve right there. That means you can grab the, the curve and make it into a curve just like this. So the ball is going to go right there. Let's create another keyframe at frame 20. I'm going to move the ball to where it goes right there. It creates a keyframe and move the cursor right to that uh, line and manipulate that line right there. Again, to frame 30. I'm going to move that ball where it needs to go and then grab the motion path and manipulate it. Lastly, at frame 40, I'm going to put my cursor right up to that path and then manipulate it so that I get my last bounce. But I'm going to make another bounce at frame 45. I'm going to push it to here to the floor and it already uh, is a is a uh, bounce there's already a bounce and so there it is if I hit play you can see that it bounces this way now I would like to see that ball rotating so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna double click on that ball I'm gonna go to frame one and I am going to zoom in on it and double click on it to go to its own timeline. And I'd like to rotate it within about five frames. We need to create a keyframe right there. So let's insert a keyframe, insert a keyframe right there, this first button, and then rotate it there. Uh, frame three, insert a keyframe, and continue to rotate, frame five, I mean, sorry, four, insert a keyframe, continue to rotate it, frame five, insert a keyframe, continue to rotate it, and then frame six, insert a keyframe, and we'll, we're back at there. And so it's gonna rotate in six frames. If you go back to the scene, click on the scene, go back to the scene, you will see this ball rotating because it's playing what's inside the graphic. If I double click on it, you will see its own timeline. So this timeline is playing out in the scene timeline as the ball moves. So let's see the whole thing. Command two and hit play and you can see it bounce now. Good. That's pretty cool. That's the first part. Uh, now, when it hits, let's uh, animate this. Let's animate the uh, seesaw. I know that it hits at frame 40. So we're going to create a keyframe right here for the seesaw. There it is. And this seesaw, we're going to do a classic tween. So easy. Uh, from, from 40 to 45 it's going to rotate down. So I'm gonna create another keyframe and rotate it. Rotate it about right there. And then click between the two keyframes and insert a classic tween. So now it'll rotate. 
you know what it might be a little too slow so I'm gonna just gonna move this keyframe over so that it uh, it's a little faster boom and then and then it's going to go back let's create another keyframe right here insert a keyframe boom and then it's going to go back right to there and then click between the two keyframes right click and create a classic tween and then lastly let's create another one insert a keyframe click between them and then create a classic tween and so this one we just need to rotate it we just need to rotate it back to its original spot right there so you can see it when it hits it play boom again boom uh, this ball we will as soon as it hits this at frame 40 this ball has to jump out for this ball we're going to create a uh, motion tween but before I do I'm gonna copy this layer right click duplicate layers I'm gonna have this one and this one I am going to move this to here so this will be my static ball right there this is going to be static and then this one will be animated I'm gonna move this keyframe over to here and so as soon as this one this one can um, be animated we're gonna create a uh, motion tween on this one by frame let's say frame 50 I am going to move it to in here and then I am going to manipulate this motion path like that and so let's see it it hits it boink there it is and there it is uh, the other thing that I'd like to do is uh, this this ball is not rotating this ball is not rotating so if I zoom in on this command scroll wheel the spacebar for the hand double click on it it's got no animation so we're gonna do exactly what we did with the red ball uh, let's go ahead and select the whole thing uh, create a keyframe boom right there start go to the transform tool and then start rotating frame 3 create a keyframe animate rotate go to frame 4 create a keyframe rotate go to frame 5 create a keyframe rotate and we're just going to do it in frame 5 frames let's look let's look at T go back to the scene and boom I like how it rotates as it going in but I just don't like it rotating um before the action so on this one on this keyframe uh, let's look at its properties at this graphic properties this is the graphic this is the blue ball down here uh, this one uh, this is the looping for the action here and we're not going to loop it we're going to do uh, play a single frame and we're going to just pick that first frame that way it's still all the way still until we see that one rotating command 2 to see the whole thing hit uh, let's hit the loop drag out the end all the way to the end drag out the uh, the beginning of this loop all the way to the beginning of the scene hit play Boop. and there it is now the only thing we have to fix is this ball rotating here crazily at the end what we did with the blue ball where it's still and then it takes on and it starts rotating we have to do this to this red ball 
Um, but the opposite, now the red ball has to stop here. And so let's go ahead and uh, pause this. This is my red ball. The red ball is going to stop right at frame 45, right there. I am going to grab all these frames and right click, remove frames. So this ball will end right there. And so I need to bring in another red ball. So I'm gonna bring in another uh, layer and right here, I'm gonna create a keyframe and I'm gonna put this ball in here. I'm gonna go to my library, grab this red ball and put it in there. In fact, it'll go right there. I just need to rotate it. I'm gonna zoom in. And you know what? I hadn't realized it, but this one needs to go all the way to the bottom here. Right there. And this other one also. I just need to rotate this one to match the one in the bottom and then right there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to have it go this way just a little bit uh, with a motion with a classic tween. I'm just going to have it go this way a little bit with a classic tween. So at frame 50, I'm going to grab this one move this one over to here and then rotate it just like that and right click create a classic tween and so it's going to go this way but i can see that it's uh rotating because of the because of the graphic inside so as we click on this go to its properties single frame that way it'll just be one small rotation and then that's it uh, command two to view everything hit play point 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 and then that's it And that's it. That's all the animation. Um, I hope that you liked this video. If you liked the video, go ahead and hit the like button and subscribe. And I will see you on the next one. Thank you, guys.